Hello, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about total knee replacement and partial knee replacement. I'm Dr. Stuart Kozen from the Scottsdale Joint Center. Uh, we specialize in surgical treatment of knees, hips, and shoulders, and uh, we do a lot of total knees here. Um, this past year, I did about 300 total knees and about 300 total hips. The standard total knee replaces the arthritic joint with a hinge type mechanism that flexes and extends. The standard total joint doesn't rotate. The device involves a metal cap, which is cemented on the end of the femur bone, a metal tray, which is cemented into the tibia bone, and a plastic liner that is basically the shock absorber which completes the knee. There is a small plastic button that goes behind your kneecap as well. What I want to show you is the difference between a fixed bearing knee, which is most total knee replacements, and another type of total knee called a rotating platform. The rotating platform rotates as well as flexes and extends. And I, I favor this knee in more complicated knees. It isn't fair to say that it's always better. It is different, and in certain difficult knees, the fact that the knee can rotate, I believe, can lead to a more natural feeling knee and a longer lasting knee because it has a self-centering capability to balance more difficult ligament contractures and deformities. And I, I use the rotating platform on most complex knees that have bad deformities, uh, sometimes larger males. I also believe that the floating plastic, and I'm going to show you how that works, the plastic is free to float. And because of that, it dissipates stresses better and decreases the overall wear on the implant. And I believe that the knee will last longer because that plastic is able to move. We call that a mobile bearing. And I'm going to show you another example of the mobile bearing in the partial knee. And if this seems uh, advantageous to you as well, it's something we should talk about as an option. And about 30% of my total knees are, are mobile bearings. The other 70% are still fixed bearing because those patients don't really need the extra rotation. And it is more complicated to do. It takes a little longer. And even the recovery is just a little bit longer because there's more involved. In the end, though, I think the patients who are more active that play sports actually have some advantage because of the, the mobile bearing. The same mobile bearing concept exists in the partial knees that we do. The partial knee has a, a mobile bearing meniscal piece, which actually mimics the function of the cartilage meniscus in the knee. The partial knee is obviously a smaller operation, only replacing half of the joint that's arthritic. And only about 20% of my knees are partial knee replacements because most have advanced arthritis that no longer a candidate for a partial knee, they need the full knee replacement. But the same concept of rotation and mobility, I think, will make the knee last longer in the long run. So that's a quick lesson on mobile bearing knee replacement. Um, if you have knee arthritis and you've been waiting to get something done, this is a good time to get it fixed. Please go to our website um, and take a look at some of the things we've written about joint replacement and I'll be happy to uh, help you out.